Tim Zhu's first appearance in the United States as he attempts to spread his image globally. Uh, Tim, you originally were scheduled to fight an identifiable American fighter with a background, Keith Thurman, and now uh, with less than a month to go, it becomes an entirely different opponent with an entirely different style. How much of a challenge is it to adapt to that? Um, I, th I think the switch went straight away, 12 days notice. Uh, first time I did pads, I was able to sort of get my head uh, in the place with uh, stylistically what to do, what to not do, and uh, I felt comfortable after my second spa. Can we agree that the winner of this fight is likely to be seen as the number 154 pound fighter in the world, if it's you? Of course, I'm already, I'm already the 154 pound right. champion, you know, so um, this is just another, another step. Enhancing that image and now a governing body has ordained a path through which, if you want, you could negotiate for a fight with Terence Crawford, whom a lot of people see as the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. Yeah. Is that ambition crystallizing now in your mind? Oh, it's 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 so much more motivating, you know. Like the the winner of this gets uh, such a big opportunity, you know, to fight for uh, like a pound-for-pound pound type status, you know, and that's that's what you you initially start boxing for that particular reason. So okay. uh, it's very appetizing. If you made a list, would Crawford be number one? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot at stake. Yeah. Welcome to America. I, I had the privilege yeah. of meeting and covering your father. You look a great deal like him, and you look more confident going yeah, yeah. into this fight. No, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. That's amazing.